Hey guys, it's Arms Day. Sorry this is going up a little bit late. I felt sick today and it slowed me down some. For the Arminius D, despite there being numerous good rolls, none of them have counterbalance. This auto rifle is capable of being a Doctrine of Passing 2.0, but better if you can get Crowd Control or Army of One on it as well as counterbalance. All rolls this week feature Brace Frame, which is amazing for increasing the stability. Rank 2 is unbelievably tempting for me to pick up, since it features crowd control, brace frame, and spray and play to help out the reload speed. Bullet hoses are known for emptying their magazines easily. Despite that stellar roll, I prefer holding out for the perfect roll. For the Geharis D, the rank 1 roll is going to be best, but only because it offers a range increase in the form of reinforced barrel. If you actually like this hand cannon, wait for a better roll. If you need the space, just pick one and dismantle it for the marks. You aren't really missing anything. The Twinella SR4 actually has three great rolls this week. All of them feature Firefly. Rank 1 is a mini hung jury since it has triple tap and casket mag to increase the base mag size. The rank 3 roll is probably going to be the most well-rounded weapon though, since it has life support which can come in pretty clutch in both PvP and PvE. This roll also has extended mag to increase the mag size or casket mag. You can't really go wrong with any of the rolls this week for the Twinella SR4. For the Strongbow D shotgun, the rank 1 roll is actually pretty good. Crowd control makes quick follow-up kills a breeze, Battle Runner helps you close the gap to those quicker kills, and it offers two range increases with Field Choke and Rifled Barrel. For the Uzume RR4, the rank 1 and 3 rolls are pretty much the exact same thing, so if you like unflinching and performance bonus, just pick whichever one is the damage type you need. The rank 2 roll also has performance bonus, but it comes with life support, which has quickly become one of my favorite perks. So all these rolls are decent this week. Sadly, the test weapons again this week only have two non-crucible weapons. Have fun trying to do that test hand cannon in the crucible. The weapon orders for next week are the Suros DIS-47 Scout. Really hoping this is a god roll with full auto and brace frame. The Hake Herja the Pulse Rifle. The Suros JLB-42 and 47 Rocket Launchers. I'm really tired of seeing these two together. And finally, the Hake F.A. Rua D Sniper Rifle. Hope you guys found this information helpful, and sorry my narration is crap because I feel sick. This has been Patrick Casey with Planet Destiny, your guide to the Destiny universe.